In this video, I go over the two best builds to take down the 7-star Blaziken Terror Raid coming to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in a couple of days' time. Now, it must be mentioned, one of the builds I'm going over is an attacking build and the other is a support build. Having said that, let's jump straight into it. So, the event details are as follows. The first part of the 7-star Terror Raid event will run from January 12th to January 14th and then will make a return January 19th to January 21st. During the second half of the event, there will be Blissies making a return and we all know about how to defeat five star uh, blissy terror raids to get ourselves ample amounts of rare candies and terror shards now it must be mentioned that it will be a flying terror type which is very interesting as it does actually limit the options that we have available to us due to blaziken's type in and the access to moves that it has so its move pool itself so what is blaziken's uh, most likely move set now i have gone for a fairly speculative one but these are what i believe it will potentially have access to Blaze Kick, Brave Bird, Swords Dance, and Feather Dance. In addition to this, potentially Flare Blitz, Close Combat, maybe Focus Energy. I think less of Close Combat and Flare Blitz as they can be, well, they are detrimental to Blaziken. So my initial four that I've gone with, I believe more so, but who knows? I could be wrong. Um, but we'll just see uh, on January 12th what week. So what is the best counter? Don't get me wrong, your usual ones such as Maraidon, Belly Ball, Iron Hands with an Electric Terror type. In terms of attacking options, these are going to be your best bets. And as I mentioned earlier, because of Blaziken's typing, an Electric type is the way to go. My option that I'm going to go for, which is different, is uh, Toxtricity. So what is the build? You want a level 100 Toxtricity holding a Shell Bell with an Electric Terror type moveset of Overdrive, Electric Terrain, Charge and Acid Spray, 252 EVs in Special Attack, 252 EVs in HP. The last four can literally go anywhere. A Modest Nature to give it a boost to its Special Attack. And I see the ability Punk Rock, so the main attacking move that you're going to use, Overdrive, gets a 30% boost as it's a sound-based move. Now, the main strategy is to do Acid Spray three times, and then you're just pretty much going to spam Overdrive. Charge and Electric Terrain are there to give um, Overdrive a bit of a boost because Charge is going to double its attack, and then you're getting also an extra boost from electric terrain so you can actually combine these two together the great thing is after using acid spray three times you're ready to terrestrialize and you've got it down to minus six um, special defense and blaziken special defense isn't the best so in my opinion i definitely do think a solo build toxicity is definitely a good option if you don't want to go for the usual suspects now for the support build i've actually gone for a toxapex it's natural bulk makes it an uh, extremely viable option the terror type itself doesn't matter as you're not going to be terrestrializing and leftovers is always a good item for it to hold moves out of recover chilling water acid spray and ice spinner but in reality you're only going to be using chilling water water and acid spray 252 evs in defense 252 evs in hp and the last four can literally go anywhere a bold nature to boost its defense and the ability itself doesn't matter now this is a great option for pokemon such as miraidon and belly bolt uh, but it doesn't really work for your physical attackers like iron hands now the main strategy is to soften it up with acid spray then minimize the damage that blaziken is going to be putting out with chilling water and uh, i definitely do think toxapex is an extremely solid uh, option as a spot pokemon because of its typing water type and poison means that it has sorry resistances to uh fighting type moves it also has resistance to uh fire type moves as well but yeah that's pretty much it go for toxicity if you want a solid attacking option and go for toxapex if you want a solid uh if you want a viable uh support option and that is it everybody that's uh, that's pretty much everything that i wanted to cover in the video today um again if you don't want to go for your usual suspects these two pokemon are really cool pokemon to go for so what pokemon are you thinking about using in this seven star terror raid anyway i hope you have enjoyed the video if you have please do like the video if you are new here i would love and appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel it would genuinely mean a lot to me if you did thank you for watching and hopefully i'll see you all next time